Hallmarks, a dog named Indy stars Brittany Bristow. WCTA's Chris McNally. Welcome to my channel, Hallmarks Gossip 24, where you can get news about. For more information, kindly subscribe and follow, and I am your buddy. Now let's get started. Here is a little Christmas present for all those hearties who love Chris McNally. Hallmark is going to air a new movie, A Dog Named Indy. What do we know about Hallmark's A Dog Named Indy? On Christmas Eve, Brittany Bristow went to her Instagram stories to share some exciting news. She wrote, Christmas came early. I am so excited to officially announce that Dog Named Indy will be airing on at Hallmark Channel Spring 2022. She shared a photo of herself, along with her co-stars, Humberly Gonzalez and Chris McNally. There is not a lot of information about the movie. However, if you look at Brittany or Humberly's social media in June, they are posing alongside a lot of adorable dogs. There should be a lot more information in the upcoming months. Spring may likely mean after February. Hallmark's New Year New Movies are next. Starting on January 1 is Hallmark's New Year New Movies kicks off with Where Your Heart Belongs. This movie stars Jen Lilly and Christopher Russell. It premieres on Saturday, January 1 at 8 p.m. Eastern. In this movie, Mackenzie Sullivan Lilly is a marketing executive who now needs to help her best friend Olivia, Jill Morrison, with her wedding as the date moved up. Now it is in two weeks. This means that Mackenzie has to go into power mode to make this wedding happen. Mackenzie needs to go back to their small rural hometown to help with the plans. Unfortunately, Mackenzie will be working side by side with Olivia's cousin Dellen Russell. Why is this so uncomfortable? That is because they used to date. However, she soon learns that sometimes things are not always what they seem. Her family supports her more than she ever gave them credit. Could she be mistaken about anything else? When Calls the Heart Season 9 should premiere early 2022. Hardies who are excited that Chris McNally will star in Hallmark's A Dog Named Indy may also want to know the premiere date of When Calls the Heart Season 9. Hallmark should make that announcement soon. However, WCT8 will likely premiere sometime in February, but the official date should be revealed very soon. The buzz in the entertainment industry was palpable when Hallmark announced its latest heartwarming film, A Dog Named Indy. Fans of Hallmark movies knew they were in for a treat when it was revealed that Brittany Bristow and Chris McNally, best known for his role in When Calls the Heart, would be the stars. The combination of these two beloved actors set the stage for a film destined to capture hearts. Brittany Bristow, known for her infectious charm and relatable performances, was thrilled to be part of the project. The script is beautiful, she said in an interview. It's a story about love, second chances, and the incredible bond between humans and their pets. I couldn't be more excited to bring this story to life. Chris McNally, whose role as Lucas Bouchard in When Calls the Heart had already made him a household name, was equally enthusiastic. When I read the script, I was immediately drawn to the character and the story he shared. And working with Brittany is something I've been looking forward to. She brings so much energy and positivity to her roles. The story of A Dog Named Indy centers around two individuals from vastly different backgrounds who are brought together by a lovable, mischievous dog named Indy. The narrative promises not only romance and humor, but also the poignant theme of healing and growth, making it a quintessential Hallmark film. Emily Harper, played by Brittany Bristow. Emily Harper is a dedicated veterinarian who has recently moved to a small town to escape the hustle and bustle of city life. After a painful breakup, she decides to start anew, focusing on her passion for animals. Emily is compassionate, hardworking, and has an innate ability to connect with animals, which makes her an excellent vet. However, she finds it challenging to open up to people due to her past heartbreak. Jack Donovan, played by Chris McNally. Jack Donovan is a charming and somewhat reserved writer who has been living in the small town for years. He's known for his best-selling novels, but has been struggling with writer's block since the loss of his beloved dog, Max. Jack is kind-hearted and enjoys the simplicity of small-town life, but feels a void without Max, which has affected his creativity and zest for life. Indy, the dog. Indy is a playful, intelligent, and slightly mischievous dog who loves adventures, 
Indy has a knack for bringing people together and seems to have a special purpose in the lives of those he meets. His previous owner passed away, leaving Indy in the care of the local animal shelter, where he waits for his next adventure. The story begins with Emily settling into her new life in the quaint town of Maplewood. Her veterinary clinic, a charming little building with a red door and ivy-covered walls, quickly becomes a popular spot for locals to bring their pets. Despite her busy schedule, Emily feels a sense of loneliness, having left behind her life in the city and the painful memories that came with it. One sunny afternoon, Emily decides to visit the local animal shelter to offer her services and perhaps find a furry companion for herself. As she walks through the rows of kennels, she is drawn to a particular dog who seems to have an extra spark in his eyes. Indy, a mixed breed with a shiny coat and a wagging tail, immediately captures her heart. As Emily kneels down to pet Indy, the shelter manager, Mrs. Thompson, explains Indy's story. He's a special one, that Indy, she says with a smile. He's brought a lot of joy to this shelter, and we're hoping he finds a forever home soon. Emily feels an instant connection with Indy and decides to take him home, unaware that this decision will lead her to an unexpected encounter. Meanwhile, Jack is struggling with his writer's block. Desperate for inspiration, he decides to take a walk around town. As he passes by Emily's clinic, he notices the sign for a free pet adoption event and decides to stop by. He's always believed that adopting another dog might help him heal from the loss of Max. As Jack enters the clinic, he's greeted by the sight of Indy playfully tugging at Emily's shoeless. Emily looks up, and their eyes meet for the first time. There's an immediate spark, but also a sense of familiarity, as if they've known each other for years. Hi, I'm Jack. He introduces himself, extending a hand. I saw the sign outside and thought I'd check it out. Emily smiles warmly. I'm Emily. And this little guy here is Indy. He seems to have taken a liking to you. Jack kneels down to pet Indy, and Indy responds with an enthusiastic lick on his face, causing both Emily and Jack to laugh. It's a light-hearted moment that breaks the ice and marks the beginning of a beautiful friendship. Over the next few weeks, Jack and Emily find themselves crossing paths more frequently, thanks to Indy's playful nature. Indy seems to have a knack for bringing them together, whether it's by running into Jack during their morning walks, or by mischievously escaping Emily's backyard only to be found by Jack nearby. Their encounters gradually turn into planned meetings. They start having coffee together at the local cafe, where they share stories about their lives and dreams. Emily talks about her passion for animals and her dream of opening a rescue center, while Jack shares his struggle with writer's block and how much he misses his dog, Max. One day, as they sit on a bench by the town's picturesque lake, Jack opens up about his loss. Max was more than just a pet to me, he says, his voice tinged with sadness. He was my companion, my inspiration. Losing him has been really tough. Emily places a comforting hand on his shoulder. I understand. Animals have a way of touching our hearts in the most profound ways. But you'll find your inspiration again, Jack. And I'm here to help in any way I can. Their bond deepens as they support each other through their individual struggles. Emily helps Jack reconnect with his love for writing by encouraging him to write about Indy's adventures. In turn, Jack helps Emily with her dream of opening a rescue center offering his skills to write promotional material and spread the word in the community. Maplewood is a close-knit community, and the townspeople quickly notice the growing connection between Emily and Jack. They rally around them, offering support and encouragement in various ways. Mrs. Thompson, the shelter manager, becomes a close friend and mentor to Emily. She shares her wisdom and experience, helping Emily navigate the challenges of running a veterinary clinic and planning for the rescue center. Mrs. Thompson also becomes a trusted confidant, offering sage advice about love and life. The local cafe owner, Mr. Green, becomes Jack's go-to for a quiet place to write. He sets up a special corner in the cafe for Jack, complete with a view of the lake and endless cups of coffee. Mr. Green also encourages Jack to participate in the town's annual literary festival, where he can share his stories and reconnect with his readers. The community's children, enchanted by Indy's playful nature, often visit the clinic to spend time with him. 
They bring treats, toys, and endless affection, making Indy a beloved figure in the town. Indy's antics also provide Jack with plenty of material for his writing, as he captures the joy and laughter Indy brings to everyone he meets. The Challenges As Emily and Jack grow closer, they also face their share of challenges. Emily's ex-boyfriend, Michael, unexpectedly shows up in town, hoping to win her back. His presence stirs up old emotions and insecurities for Emily, making her question her newfound happiness. Michael's attempts to rekindle their relationship put a strain on Emily and Jack's budding romance. Jack, feeling unsure about his place in Emily's life, begins to distance himself. He fears that he might be a temporary distraction for Emily and that she might eventually return to Michael. Emily, on the other hand, is torn between her past and her present. While she has strong feelings for Jack, she struggles to let go of the memories and the comfort of her past relationship with Michael. She seeks advice from Mrs. Thompson, who reminds her to follow her heart and trust in the path she's chosen. Meanwhile, Jack's writer's block returns with a vengeance. Despite Emily's encouragement and the community's support, he finds it difficult to write. The pressure to produce a new book and the fear of disappointing his readers weigh heavily on him, further complicating his relationship with Emily. The Turning Point The turning point comes during the town's annual pet adoption fair, organized by Emily and the Animal Shelter. It's a festive event, with games, food stalls, and adoptable pets, all aimed at finding loving homes for the shelter animals. Emily throws herself into organizing the event, hoping to distract herself from her personal turmoil. Jack, despite his own struggles, volunteers to help, wanting to support Emily and the cause she's passionate about. The fair is a resounding success, with many animals finding their forever homes. Indy, with his charming antics, steals the show and wins the hearts of everyone in attendance. His playful nature and boundless energy serve as a reminder of the joy and unconditional love that pets bring into people's lives. As the day draws to a close, Michael makes a final attempt to win Emily back, creating a tense moment. However, Emily finds the strength to stand her.